Hey, welcome to this week's show. This week, we're in Manitoba, Canada, hunting with Adrenaline Outfitters for giant black bears. Y'all stay with us, accept the challenges next. Accept the challenge. Brought to you by Archery Adventures. With your host, Brad Frost and Scott Carroll. Accept the challenge. Rod uh, could tell that we were getting a little anxious. We're not used to sitting around the lodge till early afternoon and going to stand. So right after breakfast, Rod suggested that we go to a bait that's a long ways away from the lodge, but that uh, one they'd seen a lot of bears on and he felt good about and wanted to know if we were up for an all day sit. And Scott and I jumped all over that. We would hold up rather be sitting in the tree stand than sitting around a hotel room. So we packed up everything and headed out. All right, what we've done is come into a bait. We've driven about an hour and a half to get here. So I mean, it's way off the beaten path, but the last six weeks, every time they've come here to bait it, there's been bears on the bait. So we're going to see if we uh, made the hunting gods mad by me passing up that nice boar the first evening. Got two bears on the bait. One really young, rubbed up bear. Another really nice bear. I just can't decide if it's a sow with a cub or if it's two boars. But one of them was really nice. It's exciting. We're going to sneak in here, see if we can get a, a shot of anything's there. If not, we're just going to wait. They're going to come back and get the four-wheeler and the bait. When they come in and start making the noise, we're going to jump up in the stand and get ready. So uh, I'm excited. They say this has been one of the best baits. So y'all let's go take a look and see what we get.
Once Rod showed up, we decided to play a little joke on him. They had told us that there was a pretty blonde bear with two young cubs hitting his bait, not to shoot the blonde sow. They also said don't shoot a bear that will fit in the barrels. What's up, man? Well, that must be a good sign. Good news, bad news. Oh, I don't like that. What's, what's the bad <laughs> the news? news? The good news is I'm missing an arrow. All right. It wasn't a blonde, and I made a good shot. Bad news is, I think you probably get it in a barrel and put Christmas presents with it. Oh, really? Wow. But I'm, I don't care. I'm happy. I was thrilled. It's good video, good shot. I ain't got to worry about, you know, the rain finding. tomorrow. I'm sure, I'm sure you guys, you guys will be able to find it. I mean, we probably could walk right to it. But. All right. Awesome. Well, that gives us a project for morning, so that's excellent. Let's see the vo footage, man. I mean, All I want right. to. He's, he's I, I excited. He's got to see it now. See there, he's not looking too bad. Uh, I, mean, I mean, it looks like his, the ears are pretty, pretty spread apart. I think he's a five and a half. He's better than a five and a half footer. So. Well, I, I caught him five and a half, maybe two hundred pounds, and sixteen, seventeen inch go. No, you're not far off. Nice shot. It was right behind the shoulder. Sweet. Rod, thank you again, buddy. I really appreciate it. Hey, congratulations. It was a pleasure having you guys up here. Accept the challenge. You guys did that, and you did well, man. You made a perfect shot. Guides love a perfect shot. I right. mean, I can't tell you how important that is, and it's a, it's a pleasure to have you guys in camp. You guys have been very professional, did a great job. I really appreciate it, and you shot a fantastic first Manitoba black bear. Congratulations Well, thank again. you, man. I'm really happy with him, and it's easy to make a 20-yard shot. You guys put us right on top of him, so even I can make that shot. You know what? When, they, when you're in the moment and the adrenaline's pumping... Oh, I know. I was shaking like a leaf. But uh, thank you again, brother. I really appreciate you guys did a top-notch job. Accept the Challenge, brought to you in part